Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to meet together. Please help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Filipino is an empowered Filipino. Welcome to the Philippine Information Agency, Eastern Visayas, Regional Office 8. Panindugan, a virtual kapihan with PIA and friends. Uh, welcome to our press conference on the 77th anniversary of the Leyte Gulf landings. I am Gemma Tabao, the Philippine Information Agency, your moderator for this afternoon. So before anything else, I'd like to acknowledge our guests and participants for today, for this afternoon. So we have with us our very own uh, Lady Governor, Governor Leopoldo Dominico Mick Petilia. Good afternoon, Gov. We also have with us Attorney Edgardo Cordenio, our former Provincial Administrator for Leyte. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, hi, Dolay, sir. And of course, we also have with us our current uh, Provincial Administrator, Ma'am Corazon Alvero. Good afternoon, Ma'am. And siguro na itong ibang guests, mahabol na lang po. Uh, we also acknowledge the presence of our media partners. We have here our media partners from the different outlets of uh, media outlets of Leyte. We also acknowledge the presence of our living heroes, our uh, Filipino veterans, and our partners from the Philippine National Police and the Philippine Army. Uh, good afternoon. And of course, the other uh, officials and staff of the provincial government of Leyte. Maupay nga kulop ha aton nga tanan. So, before kita mag-start ang aton mga pamakyan, Ana, pangaroon ane natin hin opening message an aton higugmaon nga governor. Governor? Thank you. Maupay nga nga kulup, no? A present good afternoon to everybody. Uh, thank you for coming over uh, for today's aton press con for para an aton uh, 77th Lady Landing Anniversary celebration, commemoration. Ma'am, later we would also like to gindungan na lang namon kay nangulpot na hira din hi ang atong duduhang na, na athletes naton ang uh, Leyte Sports Academy 
na nagkuan naghakotin uh, mga gold gold medals dito sa Sweden recently for the World Powerlifting Championships. So firstly, an aton commemoration and little landing. Uh, definitely, it is something. It is a must that we need. We have to commemorate. We need to commemorate, especially, uh, especially now that we are, we are in a pandemic. We need the lessons learned, just like the lessons learned we have in during Yolanda, and help us survive and help us strengthen ito natin province, the province of Leyte, because of the lessons learned we, and had to Yolanda. Now, we need also to learn the lessons learned natin and atong mga veterans. Uh, that's why we really have, in order for us to fight and survive and recover liwat hininga atong in our pandemic also. No? That's why uh, be, despite of the pandemic, we have to and we should continue with the commemoration. Uh, medyo, lang, medyo may pagkaiba lang, no? may pagkaiba lang sa klaseng celebration. No? Hindi lang, we cannot just do a full-blown na, na commemoration unlike before na talagang nung 75th that really there were lots of people who came here and thank you for that. Pero now, we, baga tungod han, pandemic, the social distancing, etc., we have to tone it down, ating commemoration. Uh, an atun, what are the basic itun commemoration? Of course, an atun flag raising ceremonies. An atun, by the way, an arrival an atun, atun guest of honor. And flag raising, and then the uh, wreath laying. And of course, an atun paghatag in military honors also had atun taps no, from the, coming from the Philippine Army. That is the basic. And then up, and then, and then I think we have uh, a choral song, no? song kanta from the Tolosa, uh, from Tolosa. And then after that, we will have the program in virtual mode. No, uh, messages coming from our from our dignitaries. No, and aton mga program gin virtual na naton. Okay. But what is important that the good center of the commemoration is the flag raising, the red laying, and the taps. No, and twenty-one gun salute. So, so that is the that is the the kumbaga an aton program nagin gin himo for this coming October twenty. No, and I think not to mention also an uh, aton at Tolosa and Dulag. Uh, kung um, ano di what it is, activities also we will support as usual no and uh, uh, na, siguro kuan la no baka abiso la gihapon because uh, na late ako pagkanhi kay uh, nagkuan pa kami han 40th uh, death uh, death ni kuan ni papa pulding Today actually is the 40th, so we had to we had to be with his friends and iya mga kasangkaya ni Papa hantun mga karaan. No, amo nga nalit la kami kay kay haglaba ani ra. They really wanted to share a lot of his friends. No, mga anhanto pa. They really wanted to share ani ra mga experiences and memories ni Papa Pudik amo na iya ang program. And also we have already. Uh, started as we have discussed and as we have done in the past to give financial assistance to our living veterans of World War II and Leyte Landing, living veterans. I think uh, the Provincial Social Welfare Office has already nagkuan na hira, nagdistribute na hira from Ginkad to Nira, Nira mga balay, no? from October 11 to October 14. No? So a total of so far 48 veterans, 29 from Leyte, uh, two, three veterans from Southern Leyte, West, and several veterans from Western Samar, four veterans from Eastern Samar, and five veterans from Northern Samar. Uh, natagan hin financial na ngatig 
to 10,000, just like what we have given last year. No, At least, bagan, bagan an expression of our appreciation no, to our living veterans for what they have done for us. Okay? So with that, again, uh, thank you for being today. We're open to your questions. Pag-usaan lak didi. Thank you so much, Governor. Okay, so at this point in time, tikangan nala nato na nanan aton mga pakiana. So who will ask first? Anybody from the media? Uh, Sir Roy. So, Governor, in in uh, since this will be a hybrid activity, so it is expected nga a lot of your guests would be through online la, or they will be coming. Uh, personally because in the uh, program the president is invited i wonder if the office of the president has already confirmed the presence of Ms. president duterte good afternoon sir i am angelica po from the secretariat i'd like you to know po that um we have invited the president he already sent his video sol so solidarity video message and we already have it on file po. So we will be playing his video message during the day. So, uh, video message nila. And also coming from the dignitaries from the countries, the, uh, the embassies. No, uh, I think they have also provided mga video yes, message para uh, tikang hanaton mga ambassadors. Governor, just for the record, you mentioned earlier that you are giving uh, uh, financial assistance, is that correct, to the surviving vets? Uh, how many of them are still uh, on the list and uh, they are going to receive the... the so far, um, Kuan Naton is 48 okay. all over the region. And, uh, and then nahatagan na hira. Okay. Okay. Bagagin early na lang natin paghatag eh, para kuan. Pira, uh, go. The, the 10,000. The, the same last year. The same last year. Oo. Oh. Mas kuan na natin, mas nasayo na natin pag, paghatag yan. I wonder if you have this database because what happened last year was COVID period, di ba? Go. And uh, mga senior ini, were there any of our vets that have been uh, inflected with the COVID-19? Waray kita, waray kita to record. Maybe we can ask uh, Pibaw. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Governor, uh, Sir Ikot, Ma'am Ann, and everyone. Uh, I'm from the Provincial Social Welfare and Development Office. And we just uh, hand in the financial assistance from Monday till yesterday. And aside from the financial assistance at 10,000 each, may the, meron din uh, uh, pastries, cookies, and cakes. So parang dagdag na rin para sa kanila. Pinuntahan namin yung mga bahay and we never had encounter, we never encountered any veteran na mayroon COVID o mayroon sakit except yung sakit ng matanda. Oo. And I'll take this opportunity to uh, extend to the governor yung pasasalamat na walang katapusan from the veterans. Umiiyak pa sila and probably you can see that during the uh, celebration kasi meron kami mga video na uh, kinuha sa kanila. So, Governor, again, from the veterans, the living World War II veterans who received the financial assistance, maraming maraming salamat daw po. And that, uh, by the way, po, 48 veterans ang nakatanggap, but there is one, sir, na nasa Canada. So, hindi natin nabigyan. Okay, thank you po. I think, uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma ma uh, siguro, amula na itagpake. Okay, na. thanks so much, thank Roy. You. Thank you, Gob. Thank you, Gob. So, before we entertain our next question, may we first hear the messages of our our guests, uh, Secretary Ikot and Mayor An. Uh, Maupay nga, Kulok, Atun Gatanan. 
Um, well, um, we are glad to be here to give you more or less a sneak peek or a sneak preview of what is uh, going to happen on uh, the October 20, which is a traditional celebration here in the province of Palo. So I will not make my uh, message uh, very long, again, so as to give time to all our uh, to all the people who would want to raise their questions. Uh, again, good afternoon to everyone. Thank you, Paul. Mayor, uh, Secretary. Maupeng Kulup. Actually, it um, anhi Mayor An, anhi Governor tungod hit uh, October 20th. Ako ging kalasan la ako, kulang hin driver, ako anay nag driver na kasawa, tiba kandi. <laughs> Balitao, um, I think you're all expecting uh, the celebration to be again um, virtual. Um, I always tell everybody when we have a celebration, whether it's fiesta, it's an affair, you'll have to look at what you're celebrating and you'll also have to look at what are the risks. Okay, is what we get out of a celebration work with the protocols that we have in place? Okay, what are the risks? And then you come up with a program according to that. So I think we cannot discount the fact that we're still in COVID era and will be in COVID era for a long time. Um, I'm not even sure if you inventory from last year, but just the same. Okay, may we hear the message from our mayor, former mayor, Ma'am Martin? Uh, once again, we are celebrating this very important event in our province, in our town. And uh, we're happy that you're all here, so interested and so involved in what we are going to be presenting this coming October 20. So thank you for coming. Okay, thank you, Paul, Mayor Martin. So for our next question, may we hear from Ms. Lenny of Bombo Radio. Good afternoon. Um, uh, Gov, or nga panelist. We've always been celebrating the Lady Golf Landing anniversary every year. So, ano ito na kaibahan niya na? Or ano ito unique ito natin celebration niya na? So, most generally, it, it will be the same as uh, last year. No? And last year, na Amo gihapon, nagkuhan kitahan na uh, replaying, and aton plug racing, and aton taps. And then we proceeded with the program in virtual na program. Uh, uh, siguro na yan na kay we have, uh, we have a guest gihapon na uh, in lieu of the president na uh, makan he, he, uh, ano, ano ba nalang ko? Lieutenant General Andres Centino. Uh, amot head dito ng Philippine Army. Yana, who will grace the occasion. Amo na itong medyo pagkaiba nga nakikitaan ko nga major na difference. Okay, thank you po, uh, Governor. Thank you, Ms. Lenny. So, for our next question, let's hear from uh, Justine of RMN. Good afternoon po. Yung question ko po para po kay Mayor Ann. Uh, Mayor Ann, ano po yung hinihanda ng uh, Palo LGU sa 77th Lady Golf Landings. Hi, Justine. Yes, uh, the municipality of Palo prepared a very simple, uh, simple um, event. Lang ano. We have this re reunion for peace monument here that we have already transferred to the front of the municipal building, and I think this is something historic, historical. So uh, right now, this is of course to commemorate the peace agreement between the countries Philippines, Australia. USA and Japan. So we will have a simple wreath laying. And um, with limited, uh, we're very sorry, but it's a limited guest lamp because of this COVID pandemic. We will be uh, joined by the barangay captains and a few, um, uh, the, of course, the LGU um, uh, department heads and uh, the, the uh, people from the, the, the DepEd, and of course, tourism. 
Thank you po. If a follow-up question ko lang po, uh, Gov, um, pero na po itong edad, itong oldest veteran, living veteran po na ito. Ngayon, may da ba kita gahatag nga ano ini? And paro sa previous years, may da kita ginahatag nga assistance para ito, assistant para itong oldest living veteran po. Uh, I think it, it makurila yan. I, I think you were referring to the 70, 75th no, yun 2019, before the pandemic. Mga nakanhigod hira. Nakuan hira. So, uh, anya na, that's why we had to gimbuhat na yan ha, nga tagan ta nala lahat, nga tanan. Instead of an oldest la, we just give uh, financial assistance sa uh, hanga tanan. Anyway, that's also, that's also not to mention ang mga benefits nga tikang ha, like for example, we have the PIBAW, no? Tapos ang Provincial Social Welfare Office providing them with different services. No? So, ada pa pa ito. Padugang tala ini. Aira. Okay? Thank you again, Governor. Thank you, Justine. Uh, may acknowledge the arrival of our uh, Tolosa Mayor uh, Ophelia Alcantara. Good afternoon po, ma'am. So for our next question, pamatian nato ni Miss Evelyn of ATV24. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, Governor, iton akong pakiana. Ano iton mga benefits han hina aton mga veterans nga pwede ma extend nga diha era mga sons and daughters kay disappearing naman kun hira. Tubtub la ba itong benefits sa era dida or ma-extend pa nga di? Aside from recognition during this celebration. I think uh, P. Bao can answer that. Turn on everybody. Aside from the old age pension that they are receiving as of, as of this year, the of 20,000 pesos per month, Plus 1,700 disability pension. And sa ating mga anak ng veterano, mayroon silang educational benefit pag hindi pa ginamit ng ating World War II veteran. Isang course. Pero pag ginamit na, wala na. Yan lang ang ano ng ating mga anak ng veterano. Ang benefit sa Pibaw. Thank you po, ma'am. Any follow-up question? Um, Nga diliwat itong uh, government of Japan, US, ano itong era support program nga nahihahatag didiha during this celebration, this event, aside from uh, sending representatives during the program? May ada pa ba ibang uh, era support nga nahihahatag na la, hindi nga event nga Lady Golf Landings? Well, itong, itong kuwan man dito, uh, first is the commemoration. This is what we're trying to do here. No? And syempre, itong goodwill that we, uh, state of goodwill na nakakaada kita to the province of Leyte. Uh, for example, pag abutan Yolanda, aada herang atanan. Ano mga nauna din niya aton, ini nga aton mga, ini nga mga governments nga kuwan, nga related, no api ha dun World War II, ang Leyte Landing. But ang um, magkaragway had to, nagkauro sa pagbulig ha aton. So I think there are lots of things that, that we, kuwan, di riman, di riman ito kay baka kada tuig na may gahatag, may kukuwan sa ganito. There are many things that we also request. For example, ini nga aton embankment. It's funded by, it's funded by Japan. No? And aton mga school buildings is funded by USAID, no? kailan Amerika. So it's not just, I would rather have those rather than Kada tuig, nagkukumemorate kita, madunate hirahin something. Diba? Thank you, Gov. Okay. Thank you, Gov. Thank you, Evelyn. So next is Ms. Jaja of DYVL. Good afternoon po. My question is for Mayor Ophelia. <laughs> Mayor, um, ask ko lang po uh, what activities itun may ada kita for Tolosa in line with our um, commemoration po? Dahon nga salamat. Uh, Imo po kay Ana. Uh, tungod ito na aton... Uh, very challenging, trying times yan ah, because of the pandemic. Very simple kami. At 6 o'clock, may peling hiton bells. And then 7 o'clock, we will have the mass. Doon sa telegrafo, where the 
the site of the Scout Abuelo, my ada. Then we will have uh, plug raising and offering of flowers. Then it kolop kan na kami online, the same as last year. So it's a program na uh, audiovisuals kami governor together para liwat mas celebrate tagod. Kay dodo hat importante ito ng Tolosa. One is this um, uh, Tolosa Dolag Palo celebration for the uh, ane ne inen uh, ane nga aton ginse celebrate plus and Boy Scout. Uh, kay ato man usually pero tungod han pandemic waray naman jamboree. Uh, to mga mga two years na kita ng waray jamboree but we still continue to honor them and especially work with the Boy Scouts, uh, especially yung climate change, yung papadayan titan with the Boy Scout. And we have been meeting, si, si Ma Martin uh, used to be with the Boy Scout. We had, uh, despite of the pandemic, one of the discussion is to continue this climate change, mag tree planting. Uh, so it's not just during this 18, 19, 20, but through the, through the years, my data program with the Boy Scout. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Any more questions, Chuck? No more. So, from Joyce of uh, Opinion 8. This question po is for Mayor Ophel. Uh, good afternoon po. Um, would the event in Tolosa be open to the public or control limited lang yung pwedeng witness ng event? Yeah, thank you. Still uh, limited. Even the LGU. Naka-select din kami yung uh, who will make the dent of the celebration because of the pandemic na medyo mahirap na. We are not yet 100% or 70% vaccinated. So we might as well be on the safer side. Thank you so much. Thank you once again, Mayor. Thank you, Joyce. How about Ruel? Do you have a question? Uh, Elmer of Tribune. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, anybody in the panel? Uh, curriculum, ma, uh, ma what are your thoughts? Uh, 77 years after the little landing, ano pa iton, uh, meaning in the contemporary times? Uh, how do you find this relevant to the youth? Ano pa, what inspiration can they draw out of the, uh, in the, uh, no, the little landing? Well, the, love, the love of our country. Without love of our country, we cannot we cannot grow as a country. So which was shown by the by the veterans themselves, Han Lady Landing. Yung tapang, yung talagang uh, especially Yana, may danaliwat mga threats did the West Philippine Sea. I think it's more than ever that we need the uh, the inspiration taken han aton gading sa ating mga mga veterans galing sa ating mga sundalo no na na parang yan, yan yung mal, pinakamalaki yung gallantry nila yung tapang yung dapat despite yung sacrifice na ginawa nila kahit buhay nila binigay i think these traits parang it's nawawala na ngayong mga panahon no the younger so we hope na with this commemoration lalo na sa ating kabataan we still we still si e nga ignite ang uh, ang ano nila sa mga puso nila ang pagmahal sa ating bansa sa bansang Pilipinas thank you salamat governor uh, thank you elmer so uh, for our next question uh, may we hear the, uh, from uh, nelson of atv24 then this will be followed by uh, roy again good afternoon po sa lahat i address ko lang ko kay gabi pa Wow, man, aton, may anaton pinakalagas good. 105 ato, taga, di na to, taga, para ano? Yung nga, run, buhay pa ba? Aton oldest veteran is 105 years old as of October 1. Last October 1. From Barangay Pikit, Parana Summer. Sana all. An aton oldest last year, an oldest naton last year, which is and he, Valentin Aurelia na matay na. So, he an oldest naton yana. Na. 105 years old, last October 1 this year. Thank you, Mom. Sana old ko, no? Palawap ko lang question, nga to kang gob. 
Gob gon may da pa ba niya na naton mga pasundayan nga kaya nga permi nag kakamayara diyan mga baluto nga paprumba. Mabuka kami ada pa ba yan na? For now. Thank you. Siguro an an na ko na lang naton pareho last year na nagprepare kita hin eh. Uh, gin ko na lang naton kay usually ko nagkakanda kita ng ito nga activities damo go dito ang tao nga nga baka din nagpupurundo kita oh. So that's what also what we are trying to avoid. No? So may mga iba nga uh, we we have to dispense la na ito nga mga nga mga activities. Focus la na kita han center go dan center han commemoration which is the flag raising the red laying and the the uh, the tops no para to an So ito waray laan na ito yan ah. Okay, salamat po Gob. Uh, Roy, for your next question. Ang, uh, I would... Hopefully, bangin, bangin next year pwede na. Ay ba ni Secretary Ikot? I would like to to raise a question in line with uh, the question of Elmer Canena. Uh, the lessons that we have learned so far in for the last seven to seven years Now, we are facing this pandemic time. I would like to ask uh, Secretary Iko, because in your capacity as, uh, as a private person, you've been at the forefront in the fight of COVID, helping the local government units in Leyte. Now, in view of what we have in Leyte experienced, the Lady Gulf landings 77 years ago, perhaps you have thoughts in your mind nga pwede natin makuha as we are here battling COVID-19 to make the celebration more relevant. Thank you, Roy. I, I think um, when the questions were being raised earlier, um, ang mga pakianan ni ba, which I cannot, I do not blame anybody when they ask for ano tat makukuha, ano tiya hatag, etc. Tanan tanan. I think we're all missing the point. Uh, the point here is basically it's called commemoration. We remember. Uh, ang governor pa kung hanto, which was quite some time already. When you na pakianan kang ani hinbata, uy ano? O kaya imo, it kuan, it October 20, it bata na sa ring, oo, kaya ano, kaya wari klase. Okay, but do you know why? Kaya October 20, nakilala ka kan, kuan, MacArthur, oo. Amo ito yung General Han Gulf War. In other words, people are losing history. If you don't go back to your history, you don't remember, okay, di ka maaram kung teka, teka ka, kung di ka maaram kung hino ka, you will never go move forward and find out who you really are. Okay, and that's why it's very important for us to go back. Itaton mga veterans, for example, ang nagkamagtay din hin, nakigparaptayay, nakigparaplanatay, uh, nangangalimtan itong atanan. And I think we should not forget because we tend to remember the recent wars. We tend to forget forget the wars that really mattered din ni Halete. Kita din hiya na, nasa na lang kita, Leyte, Leyte Gulf commemoration, that's it. Do you know that if you look at the history, the biggest naval war in the history, okay, of the world is Leyte Gulf War. Nobody knows that. But in the history, makikita ni mo. Ito ito mga military, mag-research ka mo, waray kapariho ini. Okay, It's historic. It's one of the things that we can showcase. Yet, kita din ni, we tend to forget. So the commemoration is really here, not to use it against COVID, not to anything. It's like, magbagyo kita, mag-COVID kita, magkandiano kita din hi. It's sisto ang hilaga papalo. Okay, kung ano mat mahinambo. The thing is, we should never forget what happened in those beaches. Because if we truly tell our people what happened here, it gives us the inspiration, saring pamani governor kanina nga, it gives us the inspiration to move forward and look at the challenges we have ahead. So let's not forget it's a commemoration. A commemoration not only for the veterans, 
But if you really want to honor the veterans, tell the kids what happened 77 years ago. That's the best gift you can give the veterans. Okay, I know that Damo Tirakinonlan, medical, etc. But the best gift you can ever give them is actually tell the story. And we should also get the stories of the veterans because they're all dying. Usa-usa na mamatay. Ang hanto na kanihi manupuli. Buhi pa ito hiya. Ginpa sering ko. Anon na hinabu? Ginpa speech namon dito hadulag one time. Sering ha manupuli. There were 2,000 Navy... From different one, hapun din hi, uh, amoy ni kadamong, atangki, among aeroplano, etc., etc., nagbubrug to din hi. Pagati makagin pa speech namon, tapos saring ya, after one hour saring ya, and that was day one. Alam ko, uspalat ka adlaw, alam ko, usto na. Sinod na liwat nga tuig. And then the next year, he was weak. And the next, next year, he actually passed away. So, the stories are dying with our veterans, okay? We need to get the info from the veterans. Mano, ano na hinabo? Okay, because this is a commemoration. How, ginaano natin pagplastar ha era? I think that's the message here. We commemorate, okay? Um, limited, but the main thing is let us remember. I think that's commemoration, remembering. And that's what we should be focusing on. Thank you, Secretary. Very well said. Sering paman ang hindi lumingon sa pinanggalingan, hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. Okay, for your follow-up question. Last question na po. Uh, Governor, uh, I've been covering Lady Gulf Landing since I became a reporter. This was many, many years ago. So I haven't heard kung may daba legislative backings on this event since we started this in the province. Or is there a need for a resolution or whatever that may institutionalize the celebration of the event? I wala lang dito si Vice Governor. Or would you know if there is, or maybe during the time of Governor Martin Pitilia then in 2000, kung mayroon bang mga resolution ang sangguniang panlalawigan backing this event? If we are, we are doing this, or is there a need for another ordinance or whatever? Uh, I, I remember at that time, at my time as governor, may the guitar ordinance it on, uh, setting all those into into paper and officially declaring declaring atanan ng mga activities. I am sure it's still good, and. Uh, I'm sure that uh, gini implement ito naton actually. Pero limitado la yan na kay baga makore naman kay pandemic man. So baga, however little, however big, however simple our celebrations, uh, we should not forget that there should always be a celebration, however small. Kay parang uh, still would be known. Everywhere, all over the world, in fact, eh, international maninin, nga din hihaaton, may nakita hiton. Nga, uh, we are not forgetting. Every year we celebrate it. Every year we add on a little bit cultural, whatever, festivals, aton ibutang, to make it uh, interesting for the young people to be, to be involved with, di ba? Kay kinahanglan man ini, and aton celebrations are not just for us, for the oldies, for the veterans, but it's for all uh, stages of life din hiya aton. For the young most especially, kaya ang sitting ni Governor Ikot nga, waray na itun hira, di rin na nga niniram sabtan kung ano itun, baga waray na ba? So if we continue celebrating, especially nga by day itun ordinance good, uh, ha province, then it should always be there for people to listen to, to watch, and to be involved with. Parang adiri good itong makalimitan. And I'm very happy nga ha province of Leyte, aton good itong gin si celebrate, gin o official pagod itong 
by way of a uh, provincial ordinance. Thank you, Ma'am Martin. Any more questions? Well, ah, my rejoinder, his secretary. Okay. Dudugan ko la. Pinasirima ko yan na nangangalimtan na ini. Dinera mag-aram, ano na inabudin he. Um, if you tour around Europe, okay, pumagto ka nga ni hin o sa nga beach, ordinaryo la, makuha ka hinsan, ordinaryo la. Pero imo nga ni butangan hin istorya, na Normandy, for example, kung pera nagkamagtay, ano naglanding, all of a sudden, itong grain of sand has a meaning and you learn to appreciate history. I think that is what we're trying to do here, remembering. Pero yan ang manggod ng panahon, pandemya. Tapos damon at bata. Siguro, uh, he, Governor Mick, o sa hiya lumusad, pwede na butangan din yung project, na butangan na niya, hit na intindan, hit kabat, kabataan, na pareho haamon. For example, TikTok, butangan ni mo, butangan ni mo YouTube, okay. Because these are the things that they understand, put it on Facebook, okay. Uh, these are the things that we can probably adapt. Yan ang may pandemya, ang itaton kabataan. I-target diri na kalagsan. Uh, diri na kalagsan. Kaya pagsaring kanina, 105, yun ang nagsaring sana all, alam ba ito, kamo na la. Pag 105 is, um, is, is an age that is you're blessed, but at the same time, I think it's not for the old anymore. It's for the young people. I'm surprised right now. Wari kita mga kabataan din na yung na participate. We should involve them because this commemoration is directed towards them, not towards aton mga edad. Okay, thank you so much, Secretary. Thank you, Roy. Uh, okay, Mayor. Thank you. Dugang ko la, Sir Roy. Yung legislation used to be uh, na ginawa ni Mamatin, October 20, la late landing. But uh, during the time ni Ma'am Martin, naging late landings. Kaya October 18, Tolosa, 19, Dulag, then 20 dito. Yan ang best legislation na nagawa na inorganize itong events uh, 77 years ago na may dakita hining uh, legislation which all these three municipalities have actually adopted. Okay, salamat po, uh, Mayor. Yes. In, in, uh, in fact, Aton gin ko an, nga an October 18, the celebration, para nga ma, everyone can watch every celebration in different places. And gin declare naton nga an October 18 is in Tolosa. Because it was there nga an tulong nga Boy Scouts nag signal, tawag naton nga signal day. No, diba? So we declare that an celebration is in Tolosa. And then, uh, October 19 is Veterans Day di da hadulag di what? and then din he nahapalo on the day itself October 20 and landing na good ni MacArthur so this are it became three days na celebration each one each celebration had its own essence and then ang nga tanan liwat kay aton man gin usa usa gin separate separate na makaka-attend niya tanan. All the veterans can attend the Signal Day, attend the Veterans Day, and attend the Real Liberation Day. Thank you so much, Mayor Martin. Uh, by the way, Roy, uh, there is uh, Republic Act 1745 declaring a special holiday in Leyte. Uh, and and it's commemoration thereof. So my RA uh, 1745 kita aside from the local legislations. Okay, any more question? Waray na? So since waray na kita pakiana, uh, this time let us watch the audiovisual presentation or some teasers on the virtual exhibits for the Lady Golf landings.
Salamat po. All right. Uh, before uh, may we acknowledge the arrival of Vice Governor Carlo Loreto, sir. Good afternoon, po. Okay. Before we hear the closing, uh, the parting words of our guest, uh, let us uh, take advantage of to the, this afternoon session as an opportunity to acknowledge and recognize our uh, gold medalist from Leyte. Uh, during, uh, they are uh, the medalists during the 2021 World Classic uh, Powerlifting Championship held in Sweden last September 23 to October 3 in the persons of Veronica Umpod, who got four gold medals, and uh, Jane Erasmo, who also uh, brought with her four um, bronze medals. So may we request our medalists to come forward to be to be acknowledged. Congratulations, uh, ladies. So there they are. Uh, they will be given yata uh, cash incentives from the provincial government. Uh, by the way, this. Uh, these ladies are uh, the scholars of Latest Sports Academy. And uh, by the way, the Latest Sports Academy is the brainchild of Secretary uh, Ikut Pitilia, who was the lady governor then. So thank you, Sir Ikot, for that Lady uh, Sports Academy who produced our medalist for this year. So, anyway, uh, uh, don't don't judge them ito ni Rakadagkot Lawas ha pero magkusog ini <laughs> bisan hiraguti ay pagkiton he Veronica Umpod ana di you left left he she's from both of them are from Matagob no ini halaba na itong record niya no she started in 2015 with three silver and one gold ha, Asian powerlifting championship in Hong Kong then one gold medal in 2016 and World Powerlifting Championship at Texas, USA. 2017, four silver medals at Asian Power Championship in Indonesia. Three gold, one silver, and world record in deadlift. In 2017, ha, Asian Powerlifting Championship in India. And to this date, he is lagi hapon iton record holder. Waray pa ito ka break. No, in 2017, pad to. In, in 2018, she got four gold medals and one best lifter and one team champion in junior, ha, in Jagihapon. No? And in 2018, also, World Powerlifting Championship in Calgary, Canada. She got three silver medals and one bronze. In 2019, Asian Powerlifting Championship in Gold Coast, Australia. Two gold medals and one best lifter award. And in 2019, World Powerlifting Championship in Regina, Canada. Three silver and one gold. And this year, yan na pala, no bago pala, in Sweden, Hamstad, Sweden, for the World Powerlifting Championship, four gold medals ang nakuha ni Veronoke Ompod. She, both of them, are also wrestlers, so Veronica also won a silver medal in Tagong uh, Palarong Pambansa in Albay in 2016 gold medal sa wrestling ito ha so hindi lang ito taga alsa no talagang may hirapan ang boyfriend dito at saka sa sa Palarong Pambansa in 2017 antique gold medal sa wrestling vegan 2018 gold medal din sa wrestling Si Janet naman ang ang medyo younger ano to nagsisimula pa lang to no pero she also got a uh, four bronze medal sa World Powerlifting Championship also in Hamstad Sweden kasabay sila so apat na bronze ang nakuha niya She is a gold medalist in 2018 Palarong Pambansa in Vigan and 2019 in Davao parehong gold medal tong kay uh, Jane Erasmo Okay Yun yung mga record nila ngayon. So, kung may manliligaw dyan, pag-isipan nyo. 
Congratulations and uh, to our uh, power lifters ay nahihinay kita habang natin ikatapuhi hira nga ako na babag intrimisan iglabog kita <laughs> So, Governor will be giving the cash okay. incentives for these uh, medalists. Okay. And for the, they are, by the way, mga scholars, full scholars, uh, JRS in Mandaluyong. Uh, JRU, JRU. No? So, man, man had to S pala ito. Yan na yun na. University na. <laughs> so, full rang uh, scholar ito ni College Education, which is good. And, for for their accomplishment so far, and aton the provincial government of Leyte, of course, with the support nila Vice Gob, sa ating sanggol ng panalawigan, of course, and ating ang founder natin ng Leyte Sports Academy here with us today, no less than an aton former governor and former secretary, Ikot Pitilia, uh, we would like to award no an aton duhang athletes for Janet Erasmo. We're going to award 50,000 pesos. And para kay Veronica Umput, we will also award 100,000 pesos. Diba? Ayaw i-surrender kang nanay, ha? Mapalit na lakon yung boyfriend. Ipakalit. Okay? Again, from the province of Leyte, hayo nga duha sa inyong duha, congratulations, and may continue to be strong para sa people of Leyte. Okay, congratulations and mabuhay to our powerlifters and mabuhay ang province of Leyte. Maruanin guti nga pulong Ayaw po nga tanan uh, Ilis A po uh, Sir Robin, Sir Bata, Sir Habaga Tanakon mga coach um, Thank you po Han, Tanan po nga nagsupport support Tagya pa ako um, Dako gap na pasalamat po nga Labi na akon po uh, Kangad Siyempre Dere ko maka Dere ko maka Kuan po uh, Maka gold ko Waray ko Waray ko Waray ko Gingabayan ni God Tapos Nak family po, um, dako gap nakpasalamat, amala po. Thank you po yung atanan sir yun ma'am. Um, ha ako sa um, gusto ko la pasalamatan nga tanan na uh, bumulig ha ako, especially God. Thank you Timo Project. Thank you po ha iyo. Um, gusto ko la po pasalamatan nga tanan liwat na nagsuporta ha ako na duwa. Han Han LSA, thank you so much. And this LSA staff, thank you po, Sir Robert and Sir Batan, thank you po. And coaches, Sir Habaga, thank you po. Thank you, Hangatanan po. Okay, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, Secretary, for creating the latest Sports Academy and producing our uh, power lifters. So at this point in time, when we hear the parting words from our guests,
Okay, closing our closing message is for Governor and the rest. Again, Leyte is Leyte Landing, so that is our history, and that we should cherish and we should learn from, so that we can move forward as a province. So, I'm on Thank, Thank you, you. Po. How about Secretary? Okay, now, okay, Mayor on. Vice Gov. Vice Gov. A Vice Gov. <laughs> Thank you, Sec. No, in, 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 in Sports Academy, brainchild in, in Sec Ikot, no? Uh, and then, I'm going to move on. He go live up uh, with his... Uh, uh, stewardship, no? Uh, mas nag-boom pa natin Sports Academy. Uh, with, uh, <laughs> and Lady Landing, Lewat, and Lady Landing, um, uh, it preparations, yan na, as, as in Sering Panigov, will be modest, but will be very relevant, no, to the times. No? Uh, virtual kadamuhan, pero ada gaya po ng meaning and essence and late landing so um, thank you so much for coming looking forward to working with you closely uh, in the in the coming week good afternoon mayor an okay na po uh, mayor martin Uh, thank you very much uh, for this very informative nga aton meeting yana. I hope that uh, your your outfits and your mga kuan ano mga media uh, groups can help us promote and generate the interest of the young para hini nga event naton nga aton is celebrate every October 20. So. Uh, I'm glad that I'm still here <laughs> and can be part of it by organizing the organization Katima Pagplano Plano Gihapon. But hopefully, maybe in a year or two, magka back to normal na kita, then we can put up uh, as many activities as we need to para good pag highlight hininga event in our uh, province. So thank you very much, Aniyo. Supporta, thank you very much for your uh, cooperation and help. And let's put October 20, the Leyte Golf landings in the province of Leyte and in the municipalities of Palo, Dulag, and Tolosa, and all over the, the nearby towns. Kunta, uh, ini a special place in our hearts. Thank you. Okay, thank you po, Mayor. Uh, how about Mayor Ofel? Okay, well, first of all, damo nga salamat. Uh, Ani kita nagkakaorosa pag uh, paghihipakundo han 77 years ago na nabo din hiya aton Lady Golf. And uh, sabi nga, it's not just remembering, but let's also make our heroes na proud hira ha aton kay ginbubuhat tagihapon and mga heroes, especially yan ang uh, panahon niton pandemic. Balik kita paging deep-rooted, domesticated, uh, mga taga-Litenyo, mga taga-Leyte, Tolosa, Palo, Dulag, na nagkakaurusa para han paggugma, ngan paghinumdum, para han hanabo 77 years ago. Damo nga salamat. Okay, so that ends our press conference for this afternoon. On behalf of the Philippine Information Agency, I'd like to thank everyone and Mabuhay and Leyte, Mabuhay and Eastern Visayas. Thank you for.